Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And this video will try to answer is Human Race V4 OP? But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam. Oh, there is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. So, in order to start the trials, you need two more players with two different races. Again, guys, two different races. And on a full moon, you need to go in front of your own trials. Use your own race skills and you will be teleported into your own trial. So for trial of strength, human race V4, you need to defeat a boss, okay? So for the first boss, he is a light fruit user, which is very easy to defeat. There you go. And after that, you will need to fight your two friends or the two players that started the quest with you guys just a reminder only one of you will be able to awaken his her race v4 okay so as you can see i'm waiting for them to finish their own quest there's a time limit of one minute so guys uh let's take this time while waiting for them to ask you what race will you awaken will you awaken all the races and what is your favorite race comment it in the comment section Okay, there you go guys. Once everyone finished all the trials, you will start to fight each other. Okay, there can only be one. Anyway guys, we're gonna fast forward this part. Obviously, they're gonna let me win. Again, shout out to my friends for doing this for me. There you go. After this, you can now go upstairs. The endless stairs guys, now you can now go through it. Here it is. And on top of this one, you will be able to talk to the ancient clock. Okay, so interact with it. And then here you will find all the gears. I mean the total number of gears that you should finish. So there you go. As you can see, there are five gears. So we've unlocked the first one. For the second one, guys, you will have a choice. Here it is. The blue or the uh, red gear. For the blue gear, guys, it's, I think, the limit break. And for the red gear, it is the psycho. So again... If you're gonna ask me, I will choose the Psycho. What it does is it gives your Sorrow Tree more charges and after that you will be temporarily invisible. So I like that more uh, for PvP. There you go. And traveling. Okay. So after that you will need to do the trial again but you need to train. The Ancient One will ask you to do so. There you go. Come back when you trained harder. So you can train yourself by transforming. There you go. So you can ask your friends to damage you. That will like increase the meter of your awakening faster. There it is. So at first, I think you need to do it once or just twice. That's enough. But as you go through the trials, like from uh, starting from the third to fifth, you will need to do more. Okay. Now for the next transformation upgrade, you need 1,500 fragments. First one is 1,500. There you go. So again, let's repeat it. Okay. You will need to fight another boss again. So I think the boss will change. First is light, right? Okay, it's still light. Light fruit user. So don't worry, it's still easy. And after this, the sad part, you will need to defeat your friends again. So imagine guys, you will help each other to awaken your uh, race. But you need to defeat all of them. And only one can proceed, right? To awakening it. Anyway, if you're having a hard time looking for other players who want to awaken their race, there's a channel in the Discord group of Blockfruits. Better check that out. Okay, so for our uh, next gear, you can now unlock the other one. So for example, you unlock the Psycho gear. Next, you can unlock the Limit Break. You cannot choose the fourth or the fifth one. There you go. But guys, for me, if you're gonna ask me, I will choose the Psycho again. Don't worry, you can still unlock the other one on the next trial. Okay, I hope everything's clear. There you go. So again, I will choose the limit break so I can showcase it to you later. Okay, there you go. Now we have the red and the blue gears. Last two more, right? Okay, clear more to unlock. Okay, let's exit this one and talk to Ancient One. There you go, guys. Three additional training sessions, meaning... We need to transform three more times. 
Okay, so that the ancient one will sell us another transformation upgrade for 2,000 fragments. Okay, so again, back to it. There you go. So guys, this is just repetitive in a way. But th check this out. I am fighting a flame fruit user now. A while ago, right? We're fighting a light fruit. So I suggest just use Buddha every time you do these trials. Here it is. We are done. Okay. So guys, after this, the sad part again, you will need to fight them. So I tried to transform here, but still, uh, their HP is too low and they're not attacking me. So there you go. <laughs> I was not able to transform. Okay, fast forward back to the ancient clock again there it is okay let's interact with it and check the gears okay so next gear is the fourth gear i guess here it is you cannot click other gears there you go so guys you will choose another one so for me i chose the cycle here so that i will have faster cooldown let me show it to you there you go Faster regeneration of charges and distance increase, okay? So after this, I think we've already unlocked all the gears. Check it out. There you go. But we can still finish a trial, okay? Okay, so let's check it out. Ex exit. Here it is. So let's talk to Ancient One. Guys, check it out. You need to do five more training sessions. So again... You can do it by transforming, and after that, he will sell you the transformation upgrade for 3,000 fragments. And let's try to do it again. Still, your enemy is the flame fruit user. There you go. Don't worry, it's still easy. Gamer Nom, why are you using Unawakened Buddha? Hmm. I made a, uh, what do you call this, a thumbnail <laughs> for my Buddha nerf video. If you haven't watched it, please do. Here it is. So guys, I think this is the last one. So we will try and transform. There you go. Guys, the transformation is really cool. I will try to unlock every race so that we can compare and showcase it. Okay, so let's head to the ancient clock for the last time. Okay. So guys, check this out. You can use your gear one more time to change. Uh, the passive so for example we have i think level two here for the psycho you can change this one to level two limit break in exchange for your level two psycho which means your level one a level two psycho will go back to level one okay so you can only choose one passive skill to increase the level so guys let's try here we go so what we'll do here is we're gonna uh, showcase it now and let's focus on the limit break here you go guys so as you can see our left click has a damage of 2318 on the mob and increasing it will increase the damage for example 118 will give you a damage of 3674 that's a lot right remember level 2 has a maximum of 150 so if you ever reach that you will get damage of 4000 so we have 3963 here because we've reached 148 that is a lot of buff but guys downside for your psycho the cooldown will be longer so as you can see i think for one charge it will cost you 15 seconds so guys better think if you will upgrade your psycho or your limit break and please comment in the comment section if this race awakening is op okay so that's it for this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate y'all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out